Hello, everyone. Today, I want to talk about the role of homework in students' life. School life can be stressful, fun, exhausting, interesting and boring at the same time. What makes this experience feel like all the negative adjectives I mentioned above? Well, there are several things, and one of them is homework. The words students don't really like, because we automatically associate it with hours of useless work we have to do every day. Let's dig a little deeper into that. Hours of work? Yes. But useless? I wouldn't say so. I'll explain why soon. First of all, did you know that homework wasn't even supposed to be a common part of a student's life? It was first given by an Italian professor, Roberto Navillis, and he used it as a punishment for his bad-behaved students. Fast forward to now, we have to come home after a tiring school day and suddenly remember we still have an average two to four hours of work to do. Now imagine your day if you also had an extracurricular activity, like sport, theater, art, and so on. Some students are very invested in them and have busy schedules. It is very hard for them to find several free hours every night. This causes stress, burnout, and missed lovesickness schedules. All this happens while given the fact that teens should get at least eight hours of sleep every night, as it affects their concentration, motivation, and most importantly, health. And yet, I don't remember the last time I got eight hours of sleep on a school day. Like, is it even a thing now? Also, just knowing that you have to do the same thing every day, go to school and come back home just to do more schoolwork there, just sounds so repetitive and depressing. So what can actually be good about homework when you can say that without it, students will have more time for extracurricular activities, family, friends, and entertainment generally. As a result, their life will be less stressful and more enjoyable as it should be when you're still a teenager. That's it, right? But as Thomas Jefferson once said, there are two sides to every story. To be honest, it took me quite a while this is the second side of the story here. I've often wondered, what if I came home and had nothing to do? Would that really solve all my problems? That's how it feels like sometimes, and that's what I thought, until my mom told me something that I always try to remind myself when I feel unmotivated. I was complaining about the amount of homework I had, as usual, when she told me that this was my only job at the moment, and I had to enjoy it, not complain about it. That's when I realized something. Look at it this way. The main reason we go to school is to prepare for real life, the life that starts after we finish our studies, and that life isn't going to be as simple as the one we are living right now. We are going to have so many different, prominent responsibilities, so I have to slowly get used to it. My point is, without our one main responsibility at the moment, which is homework, how would we suddenly deal with ten more? It's like writing a pop quiz before a big test. A minor responsibility until the major ones come. So, it may not always be the knowledge that we consume, but having to do homework from an early age teaches you things like time management, which is a crucial skill and is the key to achieve your goals, and the power of hard work and dedication. Doesn't it feel amazing after you ace a test, knowing that you worked for it? By doing this, you're proving to yourself that you can do it. You can be productive when you know you need to, no matter how tired you are or how unmotivated you feel. If you get that idea inside your head, it will help you develop an undefeatable mindset. You learning to control yourself like that while still being the teenager is the tool that will guarantee you'll have a successful life and become a successful adult. As a straight-A student, people often wonder how I keep up with everything, since I'm usually well prepared for every subject, or they assume that all I do is study. Well, no. I've had days when I came home I did nothing for hours because I just couldn't bring myself to. I was tired and felt unmotivated, and then I started stressing about it because I would still do the work late at night. I'm a severe perfectionist when it comes to my studies, so I just couldn't leave it. That always makes my situation more complicated. So, I did realize that I was being a bit overdramatic after my mom's words, but not fully. The fact that I sometimes have to go to bed really late because of the crazy amount of work I need to get done in different subjects, still exists. And sometimes, I just want to come home and watch a movie without feeling guilty about it. As simple as it is, but that's life and that's how it's going to be, right? 
we're going to have to do things that we don't feel like doing quite often. But I'm telling you that it shouldn't always be like that. I said that we should develop strong mindsets and learn valuable things from an early age. I didn't say we should sleep four hours. And yes, I should have time to watch a movie sometimes, go out with my friends, or do something fun, something I want to do. That's why I think that it would be best if schools gave us a small and reasonable amount of homework to make sure we still learn all the essential and beneficial skills for adulthood while still having time to simply live and enjoy our teenage years. I believe that with the right amount of homework, students will be successful in the future and happy in the present. Thank you.